Lots of people tell you how to be successful as an artist. We're going to tell you how to fail. Oh, we are two brothers. And we really, we really like ours. Yeah, we do. Okay, guys. We've got our top five list of how to fail as an artist. These are the top five ways of how to fail as an artist. Nice. <laughs> Pulled out the broadcaster <laughs> voice. Yeah. <laughs> what is this get up you got going here? What? What is that? What do you mean get up? <laughs> I don't understand it. It's a shirt. I. It's not cold. Are you cold? It is cold. It was like 40 degrees today. I'm hot blooded. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> We can't say too much of that. We have to. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> you do, I think you're, you're I'm good. safe there. And it probably wasn't that good either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So. On we'll to start. the list. Yes. So now, of course, in us telling you how to fail as an artist, you also learn how to do the opposite. Well, of course, that's successful. unsaid, I think. Right. But... <laughs> All right. Number five. Number five. Number five. How to fail as an artist. Play, Play. lots of video games and watch lots of TV. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one that is actually surprisingly rampant among artists. Ouch, that Especially, hurts me. I would say, concept artists and illustrators because they make art for video games. <laughs> then they get swag. It's research. They get, it's research, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. It is. It's research. No, but seriously, like, there are, those are like both. I like both of those things, but oh, it, they're yeah. they're brain like numbing in a way, and so it's kind of a way to retreat and not have to work hard. And I mean, so, there's a certain point, you know, yeah, where it is. Yeah. A, honestly, it is a little bit of research you, yeah. for your imagination. Keep. <laughs> I'm gonna get. It has to be. Please. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh. No, it's true. It's true. I know what you mean. But like, there is a large aspect of it that does just like numb Craig your Mullins brain. would would he would paint from. Movie scenes. He would actually pause a movie and paint and there from you go. it. So. And Craig Mullins is awesome. <laughs> he is awesome. Yeah. Right, I think so he lives in Hawaii now. I'm definitely going to use him as a uh, example of why to watch movies. And TV. <laughs> Craig Mullins did it. <laughs> All now, right. We got number four. Number four. How to fail as an artist. Number four. Now, this is probably going to uh, this is going to hit some people in the in the gut. In the gut. Yeah. Be disorganized. Yeah. Be really disorganized. <laughs> if you want to fail as an artist, be disorganized. Now, look. We're all artists. Mm -hmm. We all understand about how organizationally challenged we all Oof. are. In, in general, you know, in right. general. Right. But yeah, that, that's a stereotype I know. But but we, I would, we're well. You're pretty organized. Ah. Uh, well, are you task orga organized? Uh, you're organized like your desk is organized and stuff. Not really. Not really. No. Well. <sighs> kind of. It depends. It's on what an day organized it is. clutter. It's an yes, organized. Yes. 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 That's organized <laughs> chaos. It is right. Right. <laughs> I think that's a probably a better way to put it. Yeah. yeah. So, but the thing is, is that if you don't get organized, like what well, um, John Petrucci, who is the guitar player for Dream Theater, Ooh, yeah. Um, when I was trying to learn guitar, you know, he's got all these videos, and he actually designed his practice sessions and said, for five minutes I'm going to do this, and then for ten minutes I'm going to do this, and then you know, and he actually designed out how and regimented. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure he probably practiced for 12 hours a day or something, but mm -hmm. he would break it down so that every day he knew he was hitting yep. the right thing. So that organization will really help you. If you do that with your with your art career and you say, okay, I need to get better in this area, this area, this area, and mm -hmm. you really try to target those areas and you organize it, yeah. then it'll, it'll... And of course, if you're working for clients or... Well, yeah. I mean, really, you know, if you if you have a full-time job doing that and you're disorganized, you're... you're, you're caseload or your yeah. the jobs that you're handling. I mean, if you're a concept artist, no no art director wants to get your work <laughs> like uh, out of order and all junked up and no, all, you no, know, no. so organization, e even though we may despise it, it's really important. Yeah. So if you want to fail as an artist, be disorganized. Number three. Number three. Number three. Stop learning. Stop learning. If you want to fail as an Duh. artist, stop growing, stop learning. That will put you on the road to failure. Yes. Yeah. Stop learning. <laughs> yes, stop learning. Look, mm. any artist out there uh, who who isn't always learning? I you know I don't really have any interest in talking to them. To be honest, well, with you. you know I mean that I think it's actually something that creeps in quite a bit that people are, are unaware of. What happens is they start doing something that works and makes some money. I think it's actually harder with this when you are really successful because hmm. then they get really successful and they're doing the same thing over and over again, and it's actually more of a risk for them to step outside of that 
and do something new. And but I still think that like doesn't stop them. Even if they're maybe doing that, it doesn't stop them from learning on their own. You yeah, know, maybe. I don't you know, know, we mentioned him before, but a good example of this is James Gurney. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that guy's constantly learning stuff. Like yeah. he's like one week mm-hmm. he's talking about how Gurney he paints Journey dinosaurs. And then the next week he's like building a kiln in his yeah. backyard or something like That's that. That's awesome. I mean, it's it's awesome. Yeah, he is. I mean, and his blog is, is evidence of just his. Yeah. So you know, if you want to fail as an artist, be the opposite of James Gurney. Yes. Yeah. That would be how you would fail. James Werney, his evil Blarney. twin. James Blarney. His James e- Blarney. James Blarney. Bizarro. Kind of, Bizarro. James. Bizarro. Yeah. It's kind of like. Uh, you know, his it would be like his his evil twin or his alter ego, right? Mm. You have James Gurney organized, always learning. James Blarney, just video games and <laughs> throwing caution to the wind. No dinosaurs, <laughs> nothing, no kilns. Number two, <laughs> number two. Always think that you're always the bomb. Always think that you're the bomb. Oh my god! If you want to fail as an artist. Always think that you are the best and that you know everything. Okay, sorry, sorry to sorry to do this. Okay, but if you wanna if you wanna see this in action, go into any art college, and walk into a room <laughs> of students and ask them what they think of themselves, and you probably will get this or kind their of answer. Art. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. If you're not like that, then that's great. I, I love it. I want to hear it. Yeah. You know, but most of my experience, I was a little bit older when I went to art college. So yeah, most of my experience, yeah, yeah, was a lot of uh, a lot of insecurity being shown that way. But you don't <laughs> listen. It goes kind of goes back to stop learning too. Mm-hmm. Look, yeah. you don't know everything. Let me. Right. T- I want you to grab. I want you to grab your screen. I want you to come in close. All right. I want you to. I want you to listen. Listen to Dan. Okay. You don't know everything. You never will. You need to keep learning. Right? And and that's how you'll stay alive. But if you don't want to, if you want to fail, then just keep up the bomb thing. All right, yeah, just and, keep it up. I mean, yeah. If you if you, I mean, if you if you can't take advice, you know, from anybody else, and you can't take critiques, which people yeah people can't, you know, a lot of times like like you should actually value critiques. Yeah, get a thick skin, man. Yeah, you I mean, need like I up. I love having people in my life and my wife is one of them who will come in and be like that looks stupid, that looks dumb, this is off. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you doing? Are you having an off day? You know, whatever. I mean, I love that because mm-hmm. then that's free advice, real advice, yeah. you know. So you want to look forward to critiques, not run away from them. You know? I feel like that was a real intimate moment I had with the people there. I think so too. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Number one. I don't know. Number Let's one. You get some mail for that. You, <laughs> <laughs> mail I don't want. <laughs> uh, number one. Number the number one, one reason, that, or not? Together. No, the number one way that you can ultimately fail is an, as an artist is to don't, don't draw. draw or paint <laughs> or sketch or sketch <laughs> or create. <laughs> now that sounds funny, right? <laughs> but there are lots of artists who say they want to be an artist and they never draw. And they don't draw. Or they never paint. They don't draw. And so if you want to fail as an artist, mm-hmm. just don't do it. Look, it's hard. I mean, trust me, I know. All you know, we have busy schedules. We have mm-hmm. stuff that's pulling at us yeah. um and and taking us away from that, but yeah. You know, that's the base level, guys. If you're not drawing, if you're not, you know, painting, right. If you're not doing what you say you are, then are you really an artist? Hmm. Philosophizing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's the top five ways that's you can fail as an artist. Like we said, we were, you know, lots of people want to tell you how to succeed, but we mm-hmm. like to tell you how you can fail. That's right. And look, guys, if you have more ideas yeah. of how we or anyone in general could fail as an artist, yes, please put give those, them. Put that in the comments below. That's right. And, um, you know, I think people would like to see that, you know? People would like to see different ways to fail. I look forward to seeing... That's like uh, a perfect... I think, like, YouTube comments, that... We are, like, giving them the <laughs> ideal, right like, setting, you know? The, I mean, they normally have to come and troll and do... I mean, we're, come on, guys. We're giving you a perfect set. Be negative. <laughs> Be negative. <laughs> yeah. See, now it's not going to happen. Tell everybody how to... I know. We, we just... We flipped it anyways. But, yeah. guys... We don't really want you to fail as artists. We want you to be successful. No. no. So please do the opposite do the of opposite. these five things. That's right. Mm-hmm. And be successful. Yes.